some time back I constructed this steampunk canvas. I put together this little airship here using just very simple materials and I want to make another canvas. I have another one the same size and on this one I want to construct a couple of steampunk air balloons. Now some of the ideas I will be using came from a channel I watch and that is called Das Tienchen. It's a German artist. Her name is Tina and she does some really really fun arts and crafts. So of course the link to her channel will be below as well as the link to my uh, airship steampunk canvas as well. So I don't of course want to make this exactly the same but I want to keep the steampunk theme. So here we go. So far everything was pretty simple and self-explanatory. Now I'm going to construct my air balloons and as you saw I had two pieces of artificial fruit, an orange and a lemon and I cut them in half. They have styrofoam inside and I'm also cutting one of those tiny drinking cups in half or a little more than half and the other piece is just some packaging. And I'm just cutting it and putting it together so it will serve me as a little gondola. I did not have a detail planned ahead of time, so I'm just uh, working with it to give it a nicer shape. I also need to cover it with masking tape so that eventually I can paint it as it's just slick plastic. I'm also giving it a uh, back, the same to the little cup, so I have a better surface to later on attach it to the canvas. So here they're both done and for a little extra texture I'm adding a piece of canvas to the a bigger gondola. Very simply I just cut it to size and of course it doesn't need anything on the back side as that's going to be attached to the canvas and I won't see it. 
So here is my orange. As you can see, I actually cut it in a way that it's a little bigger than just half. And now I am covering it with one of those onion nets <laughs> you get at the grocery store. And I'm using tacky glue. And the tacky glue works really well. Of course, it takes a little while to dry. And in the meantime, it's a little messy. Yeah, I got it all over my hands. But when it's once dry, it works really well. Now on this little lemon, I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm adding this piece of lace, which happens to have a circular shape, which works really well for this uh, lemon shape I have here. And now a little decorations for the little gondola. This is just some little embellishments made from little pearl. It has been laying around forever. So I think this will look really cool on the front of this one. And the other one, there is a little metal crown. It's just a metal embellishment I had. Now these are a pair of old earrings, one of those little studs. And yeah, and they go in so easily. And now I'm realizing I can use them to actually attach these little pieces of chain. These are simple chains, uh, craft chains. And here I'm cutting it. So I have two of the same type, same length. And here goes the second one. And those eventually will, of course, be attached to this little gondola, just like this. And for the orange here, my big balloon, I'm first adding a, a ribbon all around it. Now, this is a paper measurement uh, piece. And that doesn't want to stick on the styrofoam at all, but a couple of pins hold it in place. Now I'm adding three tiny little gears, one on the front and two on the side. And I will use those together with more pins to attach three pieces of chain because I don't want them both to look exactly the same. So this one will have three pieces. For the bigger gondola, the other one will have two. So here again, I'm just using the push pins that go right through the middle of the gears. And that works really well. And eventually, they will go into the gondola. So it's time to glue all these pieces down. I will attach the chain a little bit later. I first want to get these things down and make sure they're well attached. So I'm using uh, tacky glue to start with. But you see in a moment, I will be attaching more texture paste, um, mostly for a little extra safety. So these elements all attach themselves really well to the canvas and nothing falls and so on. So here you see me adding some more texture paste. And I think from now on, uh, things go really simply again, not too many details. So I'll let you enjoy some music and talk to you at the end.
another steampunk canvas completed. I really hope you had a good time watching me put this together and it was interesting for you and it gave you some new ideas. I'm quite pleased with the way the design came out and the elements kind of fit together. I love the color and the shading and of course all the great texture. All right, I think that's it for today. Please come and see me soon again. Bye-bye for now.